That was a lot of fun. <laughs> British Sound brought to you courtesy of... Evo. This is a video about Evo. Hello, I'm Andy. This is In The Shop. I'm with the man, Chris Barachi. Woo! I'm the man. No. Woo! Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm totally lost in that little jam now. I'm yeah. really super chilled and normally yeah. we're like, ah, hello, what can I do in the shop? That's and not what it is. You go like, oh, 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 and I was like, oh, oh, this is nice, no? Oh. Evo, that's the Evo. Um, Yuri, come in. Come in, come and have a little look. Have a little nosy. So if you guys are as old as I am, you'll probably know this one. Because in the 90s, it was, it was a thing. It was serious. Ask the guys from Metallica, ask a lot of players. This was a thing, really. And then, I don't know, did it really disappear? Or it, it kind of did it in popular music and in the, in the eyes and ears of the guitar world, it yeah. did. Well, there, there are options. I mean, you can get pickups that do a similar thing, pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but what if you don't want to customize your guitar? What if you love your pickups and you just want to use it occasionally? What does this do, Andy? What does this do? What does this does? What does this does? What this does does, it gives you infinite sustain. It's got a little battery in it, which... Are you <laughs> going to correct me on infinite, though? No, I um, just want to let you know that I need more coffee. Okay. Coffee, can we get, that's what, get some coffee for Chris? That's what me does. And a donut. <laughs> no, no, a, a donut. Let's, let's stick with a bagel. Okay, so what does this do? This creates a magnetic field using a nine volt battery which vibrates the string. Yes. So when you play it with a pick or your finger, you're waiting, if I may. That note will die out because you've hit it once, you've given it something to vibrate. Yeah. But with the Ebo, infinite sustain. Yeah. Well, as long as your battery is not empty, but that will take long. So um, you will have to, you have little stripes on the bottom. If you can come closer here, you, you'll see a couple of lines here. And there's like a, a space in between. This is exactly where your string that's supposed to vibrate has to go. And all the two other strings around it, one above, one underneath, will go in these little slots here. So what you do, you hold it in your hand, you put it, above the string and it kind of sits right on it because of those little stripes so you it also space. dampens its neighbor yeah, yeah sure sure which is also good because um, otherwise they would vibrate probably as well and then uh, you make sure it's on and you turn on your guitar it starts already the amp is still quiet and then you move it to the next string And it does its thing. Instant gorgeous music. It's crazy. And you have two settings. In the middle it's off. Uh, on one side it's going to be your harmonics. Like crazy harmonics without stirring your amp up that much. Um, and the other one is just... The other version is just the tone you're, you're playing forever. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is an effect. It is a tool. And um, if you're asking for, for my advice, then here it is. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, my, my question to you that I didn't ask you was, how do you use it? Uh, if I ever use it? No, how do you use it? Like, how you, do you like in my, my, my real question is, where do you put it? Do you put okay, it yeah. here Good or point. over the pickup? Yeah. Or? Well, uh, there are certain spots on the guitar, especially without a distortion turned on. Now the sound is pretty much clean. Well, not dry. I didn't say dry, but it was clean. It's clean and dry now. And detune, but I'll tune it. Um, you put it somewhere and kind of hope it, you kind of hope it will do something, and eventually, probably it will work. But uh, you kind of have to search for the spot, so that takes some practice, and it also uh, depends on which pickup you have in your guitar, where those pickups are, mm -hmm. which is selected, and so on and so on. So I have this one now active, the neck pickup, and if I place it right above it, it's gonna do wild things. And if I place it above the bridge pickup, which is not selected now. Nada. Nothing. And then I move forward. And it happens. Of course, strings do vibrate in the middle way more than in the end. Uh, so, of course, obviously. But if you select the bridge pickup, things happen right here. 
as well. You don't have to go to the front. Mm -hmm. It also sounds radically different, of course, because you have the um, overtones coming earlier or later and so on and so on. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, so you have to practice it because uh, if you imagine you will, you will play your scales or your multi-string runs, eh, stick to one or two strings and um, spend more time on one string, yeah. it helps a lot. You have to force yourself and it's a good practice too. I think because we tend not to stay on one string very long, even though it's a very human voice-like melodic uh, line you create. Yeah, when you, it's singing, isn't it? Yeah, the guitar it, it is it's absolutely it is. singing. If you stick to uh, small intervals, it will become more like singing. So your solo playing will change and develop too. And, uh, and you also get to learn to play this one. I think that's all I want to say on the Ebo, apart from that I love using it with lots of reverb yeah. and, and also just uh, gain. And then you can create these beautiful atmospheric soundscapes. Yeah. yeah and I'd like to do one for you now. So mm -hmm. we could play them out with some sort of beautiful thing. Pick a chord, Chris, or a key. A chord or key? Well, which was the first one? Uh, I was in a kind of E minor -y kind of thing. E minor. Or, or C. Okay. Well, let's. Um... Well, pick a chord that I know. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> let's stick to minor. Okay. D minor. D minor is. D minor. D minor. D minor. It's the saddest of all keys, Chris. Well, it is the saddest let's go of for all it. keys. Let's go for it. Well, we'll play you out with a little bit of beautiful, beautiful, beastful. We'll play you out with some beastful music. Um, I've been Andy Ferris, and I'm Chris Boucher. This is thanks for watching. Oh yeah, thanks. And any, uh, any more? No, see you soon. Like, subscribe, yeah. ring the bell, comment. <laughs>